On this week's episode of Beagle Boys Rabbit Hunting, my dogs and I take advantage of the excellent weather conditions. While checking out some new places to hunt for next year, the dogs were able to run hare consistently to speeds around 8 miles per hour, leading to some of the fastest chases of the year. Come join me and my three dogs, Bo, Louie, and Barry, as we enjoy finding and chasing hares in New York State. Seven point five seven miles an hour. So I'm out here today in northern New York, um, training my three dogs on snowshoe hares. Uh, Louie's got a, tra a trial tomorrow, and uh, I thought I'd get one more training day in. Um, I'm also doing a little scouting today, just seeing where the rabbits are, checking out some new places for next year. And uh, I found a little spot of uh, snowshoe hares right now, and the dogs have been running good, uh, despite the conditions, which I think are pretty uh, rough on them. It's just we got about two feet of snow up here or more. Uh, with a uh, thick, thick uh, layer of crust uh, that the dogs can stay on top. But uh, I, I'm going through in spots, which is making it tough on me. Um, and there's just, you can see it's snowing right now, but there's just the faintest little bit of uh, snow on top. But they seem to be running okay. You can hear them in the background. Uh, so we'll just see how they do. And uh, hoping to get a few uh, good clips today. You can see how much I'm uh, sinking through right now. And this is just crossed, so it really sucks. Okay. So here's one of the indications that you know you're in hair country. I'm looking around. When I go into a new area, I look for all sorts of signs because I'm looking to see how many hairs are here, if it's a spot I'd come hunt or just train on. And uh, what I'm always looking for is the spruce trees or hemlock trees that are tightly... Um, put together and you also want to look for your small deciduous trees um, Because that's what the hares are eating during the winter time um, And what I came across right now is a group of trees uh, Small little saplings that have been gnawed on by the hares and I'll uh, show it to you right now So this is what I found and when you see this many gnawings I mean take a look right there and you can see almost every single one of these little saplings is gnawed down. And uh, you can pretty much tell that there's a, a good group of hares in here. Um, a, a nice population of them. So that's one of the things I'm looking for. Looking for droppings, chewing, and uh, just the right habitat for them. Alright. You see that sapling right there? That is not a buck rub. That is from snowshoe hares eating away at the bark during the winter time. Look how much they chewed. It's a pretty big sapling. Okay, so uh, right now the dogs are still on that hare. Uh, they ran it about an hour in this small little area, you know, little tiny loops. But uh, I guess he got sick of it, and now he's taking the dogs nearly a half mile um, away across the snowmobile trail. So I'm just going to go check out this, uh, this next section by myself without the dogs, see if I see any tracks. And then um, I'm going to see if I can catch the dogs on the snowmobile trail possibly, and then move on to another section that I'd like to scout. So we'll see, see how it is up here. All right, so I got up on that hill, and uh, definitely this is another good spot right here. Another good uh, 10, 15 acre patch. Um, seen a lot of tracks, and then I uh, got this nice road to, to uh, shoot down, uh, which would be nice. And then if you take a look over here, just like before, um, rabbit chewings, big time. I'll show you. Right there, and there. And 
<sighs> Take a look at that. It's a pretty big tree. They skinned it all the way around. I mean, look at that. That's a, that's a big tree. That's a, a lot of scraping for a hair. So, <sighs> they chewed quite a bit. So this will be definitely a section I'll come back to. Uh, it's nice, it's got a few different patches here. Uh, luckily the dogs, they went a half mile out, but uh, that uh, rabbit just wheeled right around, came right back on its tracks, and uh, it's right back where we jumped it. So I'm gonna see if I can catch the dogs and uh, hopefully move on to a new spot here. Okay, so I almost caught them there. I saw the hair go right past in the, in the brush. Dogs weren't too fast. Uh, but now they're taking them right down the snowmobile trail. That's right where I want to go, but I don't know if I can catch them. The only good thing is this crust, which I was falling through when I first got here in the morning, is uh, now starting to, to uh, harden up because it's so cold out today. So I'm able to walk around a little better in some sections, but it might be a little tough getting these dogs. Seems like they're locked right onto this hair real nice. And I don't like to uh, use a shot collar or even beep them when they're on a nice rabbit like this. Uh, so I'm just gonna try to see if I can get the hair to come naturally across and then nab them when they uh, come through. Getting close again. So defeated again. You can see the dogs are running real, real close to the rabbit. Uh, they've been running like this for now an hour. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch them. I could beep them and take them off the rabbit, or just send them a little shock. But uh, I'd rather not do that. I'm seeing if I could just catch them anytime they uh, have a check. So they're running real nice. Uh, Barry kind of missed the check there, so he came across a little later. Um, but they were running pretty tight, all three of them, for uh, quite, a, quite a while. So we'll see. They have running across the snowmobile trail uh, pretty consistently, so maybe I'll get another chance. So I'm trying to make it so you can see that. Uh, that's the average speed on bow right now. 7.57 miles an hour. And uh, we traveled 7.5 miles nearly so far. So he's doing a real nice job. Uh, he's been getting pretty close to eight uh, before, so he's pretty quick. That's what I like to see though. You can see Louie, he's a little slower, about 7.2. Still pretty quick, but he's got a great nose. This is my puppy, Barry. He's not a year old yet. He's still uh, 11 months old, uh, 7.1. He's averaged. Come here, come here, come here. Louis, hey, 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 hey. Louis, hey, hey, hey. Oh. All right, so I got the dogs. Um, I was having some trouble uh, uh, with uh, Louis' GPS. I don't know if you can see it, but he lost, he tore off his antenna. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get a replacement antenna as soon as I can, but it came right off. It's been uh, it's been about a year and a half old and I use it pretty much every weekend. So it's been through a lot and he goes into holes and stuff. So I think that's what happened, but you can see it's where it's supposed to be and the antenna ripped right off. Okay, we're at the second location for today. I think this is gonna do it for us. Um, dogs just struck one up here. Uh, this is a pretty nice spot. It's a nice uh, hunting spot just because it's uh, kind of easy to kill them. You can kind of get them cornered into a position. But it uh, looks like the dogs just about had a sight chase. 
bring him down into this open and I think he's gonna come back up. So hopefully I can get some good footage right here. Okay. Dogs are running eight miles an hour right now. That's what we've been averaging. There you go, Barry. Right there. I saw him go through. There we go. Running quick today. There we go. Okay, here they come. All right, so I just saw two hairs go through. Barry was on one, it just passed me. And then uh, Louise and Boge just passed me right here. And I scared it the other way. So what I'm gonna try to do now is uh, try to catch them. They ca came through right over here and then doubled back and then went up this hill. So uh, I'm gonna try to catch them all right here. It's getting late. Got a little nervous there. One hair went this way and one hair went that way. So, dog's pretty much gonna hit a track any which way. Barry almost went on that, but I uh, gave him a little beep, and that was enough to keep him off. So that's gonna be it. Um, we ran for most of the day, two different locations. These are locations I'll come back in the winter time uh, next year, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>